Hi, I'm Guy Dunk, technical manager for Buxton Opera House. Um, behind you, over there, is the Opera House, and over here is the Pavilion Arts Centre. Uh, I've been technical manager um, for, oh, I don't know, about 25 years and technician before then. Uh, the theatre has, has developed in leaps and bounds since then. It was a very small operation, um, and now it's probably the busiest receiving theatre in the country. Certainly the programme is, is extensive. Um, we, last year, approximately, uh, we had 360 different productions uh, with a total of over 560 shows. Uh, so you can imagine it's fairly intensive. Today, for instance, um, we are using 22 technical staff. Um, 16 in the Opera House, because we have uh, an opera festival and we have two teams of eight in there. We have having two staff for a, a, a comedy evening in the Pavilion Arts Centre behind us. And on the other side of the park, um, <coughs> we have a open air production of As You Like It. You can't see it because it's behind the trees, but uh, uh, it's Shakespeare's Globe, uh, uh, As You Like It. And we're providing four technical staff for that. So uh, it's, um, it's fairly intensive. And uh, uh, I suppose my job has evolved really over the years from being very hands on to being very little hands-on now and it's mostly administration and sorting out uh, all the, uh, the staffing and sorting out the, um, uh, the company's information, making sure that we've got um, the appropriate information and that companies know what we require from them. Um, and uh, obviously a little bit of forward planning when, when possible. Um, we've, I've, we've just opened the Pavilion Arts Centre a year ago and um, that was quite an extensive and uh, <laughs> stressful exercise, I think is the right word. Um, but um, we, uh, we had quite a, a bit of input on, on some of the technical issues and particularly on the sound. And uh, uh, I think it was about um, was it two years ago now, or a year ago. I can't even remember now. Two years, certainly a year ago, we, we went to the trade show at, um, at Leeds and uh, went to see various um, uh, the offers of various sound manufacturers for um, mixing consoles and we were very impressed with the Allen & Heath um, uh, IDR system um, and um, we, uh, we particularly liked the, the Surface, the, uh, the, the, the um, iLive T80 and uh, the chap on the stand was very, very good, very, explained it very, very well. Um, and um, I'm not really um, a, a noise boy, as they say, um, but I found it very intuitive and very, uh, very easy to use. And uh, I thought that uh, visiting companies come in would pick it up very, very quickly. And um, so that's what we've gone for. Um, and it's, it's been great because we've been able to put additions to the system. Um, we've, uh, We've got a, an IDR32 uh, um, engine, and then we've also connected that to an IDR8, and now an IDR out. So, um, so we, we've, we, it's a, you know, it's 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 a nice sort of modular building block system that we uh, we can expand, and uh, it is extremely useful, and uh, um, it, it seems to do, do the job, does the job very very well. So we're impressed. <laughs> Um, the Opera House um, uh, has been here since, um, since 1903. It's um, the last building in a complex of buildings starting at that end, which is the, um, uh, the Octagon, which was built in 1870. And then these various buildings were added on. Um, the glass building on the side of the Opera House was originally ran through the, where the site of the Opera House was and then when they decided to build the Opera House they dismantled it, um, added a bit in and, and then re-erected it again along the side of the Opera House. Um, the Opera House itself is, uh, is a Frank Matcham theatre. It's um, one of the great things about being in a relative backwater as Buxton was for many years. Um, uh, was that there was never the money to, to, to modernise it and therefore it survived till 1979 virtually unchanged apart from the, decora the internal decoration. Um, and over the years that now has been put back to, the, the, the internal decoration has now this, um, been put back to its original 1903 colour scheme with lots and lots of gold leaf. So uh, the saying there's gold in them hills is uh, very appropriate for here. Um, and uh, it's been extremely successful. It's very, uh, we have an opera festival in the summer, which um, 
it, it takes up a month of our time technically and then it's followed by Gilbert and Sullivan Festival um, and we do a full range of, of different shows we, um, opera, ballet, drama, concerts, uh, tribute bands, comedians, anything you name. There's the big fringe season as well, big fringe program. We show films, um, we do uh, quite a lot of, of um, various community ventures in the, in the Pavilion Arts Centre. We um, have a, uh, an education program, a small children's program. We have a youth theatre and a junior theatre. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, despite um, living in relatively precarious financial times, the theatre seems to be doing very well at the moment. Um, that's more or less it.